about again, and it's it's part of etiquette. But so, what is? Are there pointers we can give that are the etiquette in certain platforms? Like we've said, okay, they're different. Great. But well, what does that mean to the average person? Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm Derek. Um, just to bring a perspective into this, every social media platform on the internet or not, I'll pick on the internet because I've been doing it for a long time. You think of Usenet, you think of email, you think of bullet board systems. Right. The, the etiquette, forever ago. Yeah, yeah, the etiquette of each one is a complicated mix. It depends on who was there first and who sort of established it. It depends on the technical construction of it. I mean, right. BBS or a Usenet group, everybody on there sees everything that goes in the group. If you're on Twitter, you can construct a really small group of people you follow, and you'll just never see anybody else. Same on Facebook. It doesn't matter what else is going on, you can ignore it. Um, on Flickr, same thing. I always, when I stumble across stuff on Flickr, I'm like, where did all these pictures come from? Who are these people I've never seen before? So how do you, how do you kind of combine that into is, do you have an overall social etiquette that well, you follow online? The or way I've always done it, or the way I've done it since I learned the hard way 25 years ago, right. is you, you can't just leave in. You've got to come in, join or do whatever you're going to do, and sit there for a while and see how other people, mm -hmm. at least Pay the attention. other people you care about, behave. Yeah. Yeah. And this was always the rule on Usenet. You know, it's like, if you're a new and you come in and start posting crap, people say, shut up. Read for a while, and then you'll see how this works. Which, which is really interesting because, from a from a social media strategist perspective, the the general kind of overall mantra has been just jump in. It's going to be okay. You're a company. Just give her. I and like they, that. I know, but that's I don't need it. But but I've heard a lot of people say that from from the sort of the prevailing knowledge has been. Jump in. He'll be okay. There's I, no better time to get into well, right I, now. I think that's an attempt at a shortcut person. I think it I, is, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't join Twitter or Facebook until everybody convinced me to do it. Well, because she's smart, though. So. Um, you know, because I have a blog. And, well, and plus I see Orca, you know, Prankster and MySpace right. and everything come and go. Right? It's like, why, would, why should I join something else that might disappear? That might disappear. Yeah. The thing is, if you come in and then don't really do anything other than maybe say, hi, I'm here. Um, you eventually figure out what the rules are because the rules are different not only for every different platform, but for whatever now with these ones that can, you know, as I said, it's it fluid. really, yeah. I think it really is a platform for creating a community. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's, it's very fluid. So, uh, you know, so you, you have to watch it and then you can figure out, you know, you'll still make mistakes. Yeah. But if you don't just go in and we've done the thing you really encapsulated is that what most people Understandable social media is first off, social media is a listening tool, yeah. and then you know, it's again, I go back to like the ratio 90% connection community of listening and then 10% messaging. Yeah. And I think you're right, people get in and they don't listen, they just yeah. blurt. It's like the person who shows up to the network even talks about business the whole time, and, and you're like, Wow, when's that annoying guy gonna leave? Right? And that's again, it's a listening tool, you can observe that etiquette, but I think a lot of people just don't spend the time observing what the best practices are. And, and for example, in, in mental health camp, one of the things that we noticed, and, and Zoe, uh, Tara, I heard, was um, giving at a, at Zoe, Zoe Jane, yeah. She was giving a, a talk, and um, one of the people from the uh, Canadian Mental Health Association said, you should just jump in and, and speak clearly. You know, I have depression. And, Tara said, whoa, stop yeah. right there. No, I did it. I assume the responsibility of what I did. And because I do it is not, you shouldn't do it. Like, it right doesn't mean it's right for everybody. You have to so. know what you're risking. I teach beginners all the time, and uh, I teach beginners in terms of, I teach people coming out of prison. I teach people coming out of 12 year sentences, how to get online, and how to be properly socialized. And the first thing I say is, Let's use a fake name. You're going to make a complete ass of yourself rather quickly, and you're going to want to leave that behind. Because they, they do want to jump in, and they do want to start, anybody with a strong personality wants to start contributing right away, and, and they do. Um, but learning to walk into the party and, just, and keep quiet until you decide whether it's the one with the vicar and Aunt Grace, or whether it's the one with the stripper and your frat brother, that's, that's just social sophistication. 
And that happens online. It, online is just communication, the same as we're doing here. Uh, so as universal rules of human interaction don't change just because it's online. So is there a level of social sophistication online that you can learn them? Or is it, it, is it like after you a given and four, you just five, have five forms? You know how it goes. You, you know lurk for a while, you get your username, and you lurk for a while, and maybe you get an account you want to fart around with and see how it works. Like, especially the social bookmarking sites can be vicious if they don't like you. You're out of there. So have two or three usernames and only start playing around with one of them and see what happens to it. And you learn from that and move forward. Now, you don't have to put your hand up. Yeah, okay. You don't have to put your hand up. We are at the Vancouver Bloggers Meetup, so I, I think we need well, to go yeah. back to social media and for blogging.